Hello everyone. Welcome to the security channel. In this video, we are going to have a very interesting problem. This problem came from American mathematics competitions from 2021. In this problem, we have x to the power of 2 to the power of a square root of 2 is equal to a square root of 2 to the power of 2 to the power of x. We are looking for to find x belongs to the positive real numbers and we want to find sum of all positive real numbers that we have for x to satisfy this equation. Before moving forward, to talk about the solution, make sure that you pause the video to think about this problem. For this problem, I'm going to add some more details because the challenge comes from those details. In the problem, we have x to the power of 2 to the power of square root of 2 is equal to square root of 2 to the power of 2 to the power of x. That's the thing that we talked about. However, the original problem wanted to find some of all positive real numbers that satisfy the equation. So basically, we are not going to find the actual values that satisfy this equation. Instead, we are interested to find the range of final value that we have for some of all positive real numbers like x that satisfy this equation. There are five cases that we need to verify. For the first one, it said the sum is going to be less than a square root, root of 2. In the second one, it said it's just a square root, root of 2. In the third one, it says it's greater than a square root, root of 2, but less than 2. And then in the D case, it basically increases the range. And it says that it's something greater than or equal to 2, but less than 6. And finally, we are seeing here as something greater than or equal to 6. We are going to find which one is the case here. Maybe because we added some details now, you can pause the video and think again about the problem. Now let's move forward and try to solve the problem. For this problem, we are going to simplify what we have on the right hand side first. On the right hand side, we have a square root of 2 to the power of 2 to the power of x. We are going to write a square root of 2 as 2 to the power of 1 over 2. And then we have this to the power of 2 to the power of x. So we are going to simplify it and write it as 2 to the power of 1 over 2 times 2 to the power of x, which is 2 to the power of 2 to the power of x minus 1. Now we are going to apply log on both sides. If we do this, we are going to end up with log of x to the power of 2 to the power of x square to the power of 2 is equal to log of 2 to the power of 2 to the power of x minus 1. Since we have log on both sides, we are going to simplify it a little bit further. We are going to take out the power that we have for both sides and write it as 2 to the power of square root of 2 times log of x in base 2 is equal to 2 to the power of x minus 1 log of 2 in base 2. Obviously, log of 2 in base 2 is going to be 1 and we can remove it. Then I'm going to apply one more log on both sides of this equation. And we will end up with the equation that you are seeing here. Now let's continue. 
On the right hand side, which is easier, we are going to remove x minus 1 from the exponent. We are going to write it as x minus 1 times log of 2 in base 2, which can be removed. And at the end, for the right hand side, we just have x minus 1. Now let's focus on the left hand side. On the left hand side, we have log in base 2 of an expression that you are seeing here. This expression has two parts. The first part is 2 to the power of square t root of 2. And second part is log of x in base 2. We are going to divide this into two logs. Basically, we are going to write it as log of 2 to the power of square t root of 2 in base 2 plus log of log of x in base 2 in base 2. We are going to simplify the first part and write it as a square t root of 2. And then we will simplify and rearrange the whole equation and write it as log of log of x in base 2 in base 2 is equal to x minus a square t root of 2 minus 1. Now we need to solve this problem. This problem is not easy to solve after all. Maybe that's why they didn't ask for individual values of x that are going to satisfy this equation. Basically, they asked for sum of all these values and they didn't ask for exact number, but instead they asked for a range. We are going to benefit from this type of equation and also the thing that they asked in a bit. I'm going to go back to the equation that we need to solve and this time I'm going to plot some curves. Let's first start with what we have on the right hand side. We have x minus square root of 2 minus 1. Obviously this is a linear equation. It is going to be a straight line and it is going to pass a square root of 2 plus 1. The other thing that we know is if we put x as 0, it's going to pass negative square root of 2 minus 1. We are going to use this and then plot the straight line that we are talking about. This is going to be the one that you are seeing here. Now let's focus on the left hand side. For the left hand side, we have a log expression. We already know the behavior of the log expression. Now we are going to find the exact value that this behavior happens. First of all, we know that if the value inside log moves toward infinity, then log is going to go to the infinity. And then the second thing that we know is if the value inside the log goes towards zero, then log goes towards negative infinity. So let's do this. First of all, this is not a simple log. Inside the log itself, we have another log. When x is infinity, then the initial log of x in base 2 is going to be infinity and then log of that value in base 2 is going to be infinity again. This part is easy. Now the second part that is going to be interesting is when x is equal to 1. In this case, the internal log is going to be 0 and then we will have log of 0 in base 2 which results in going towards negative infinity. So the curve that we need to have is going to go towards infinity, basically negative infinity, when x moves toward 1, and then it goes towards positive infinity when x moves toward positive infinity. As a result, these two curves are going to cross each other in two points. Both of them are going to be positive, and we want to find some of them. 
First of all, you can easily verify that some of these two values are not going to be a square root of 2 or less than that. So the case that we have here for A and B are wrong. What about case C? It says it's less than 2. But obviously you can see that it's more than that. So case C is not acceptable too. Now we are going to end up with finding if D is correct. You can see that one of the values is a little bit more than 3 and the other values is between 1 and 2. So some of them is going to be less than 6 and more than 2. So case D is acceptable and E is not acceptable. So we find that sum of all positive real numbers x that satisfy the equation that we have is going to be between 2 and 6. Thanks for watching the video. If you would like to see more puzzles and math involved activities, please subscribe to the channel. This is the SQRT channel.